music it does change lives it you know you get lost in the moment music really does stir the soul it's a feeling that the music starts to evoke in you the beat of the music is kind of like the beat of your heart and it just keeps keeps you going keeps you going all the time when you experience live music you, you walk away from it and you realize that you've got to go back and and do this again it's it's a wonderful experience oh the power of music the music in a community can be incredibly inspiring um, it can be something to look forward to it is an economic engine it is something to be proud of not every town has a symphony orchestra but we do, and it's pretty, pretty awesome. When an orchestra is looking for a new music director, it is absolutely, hands down, the most exciting time in the life of an orchestra. We already bring world-class music to this, this small town. It's 100,000 people. And it's supporting a major symphony orchestra, a professional symphony orchestra. But, so we're already bringing the world to Elgin, in, literally through the music. But now on top of that, the fact that we have such a great reputation internationally, we have attracted really world-class conductors uh, from, from international locations. It's not just local people, it's not just people that maybe you've heard of. There is some amazing talent out there. The most exciting part of next season, I think, will be this opportunity, once in a lifetime, to hear all these great conductors from all over the world. You're going to see people from Venezuela, the Americas, uh, Canada, and Brazil, all over the world. P people that we would not normally get to see will be here on uh, stage with the Elgin Symphony Orchestra. I'm sure we're going to pick somebody who can bring a lot of vitality to the orchestra, um, somebody who can inspire us to be our very best. I'm very excited about the 2012-2013 season because there is a lot of music that is maybe not new music but new to us, things that we haven't done before, things our audiences haven't seen. It's, it's invigorating to learn a new piece, even if it's something that's been around for 50, 100 years. Oh, the piece I'm looking forward to is Stravinsky's Dumbarton Oaks. And a lot of people know Stravinsky as the one who's behind Rite of Spring, but Dumbarton Oaks is part of Stravinsky's neoclassical period. He's got a body of work that's just so creative and beautiful and so charming, and Dumbarton Oaks is one of those pieces. Probably the one that jumps out at me is the Reveltus, the Night of the Mayas. Uh, and that's because it's a percussion extravaganza. It incorporates instruments that, that we don't get to use as much in, in classical music. And, uh, and the rhythms, everything, it's just it's a wonderful uh, mix of flavors of sound. I am really looking forward to playing Shostakovich 10th Symphony. Shostakovich got in trouble with the uh, Soviet regime any number of times. That's something I would aspire to, to have the courage of my convictions and um, be able to uphold them and express them through music. Oh, what better way? Flute Concerto by, by Carl Nielsen. And why, why would a trombone player be excited about a, a flute concerto? Nielsen is one of my absolute favorite composers. You can never do enough Nielsen. It actually features, within the, con the flute concerto, it actually features the bass trombone a as, as a soloist within a concerto. There's a lot of wonderful music out there and we're very eager to play it. And this is a chance for us to do that. The Elgin Symphony, it's a wonderful experience for anyone that uh, is testing out the waters of a symphony experience. I, I think someone who's never been to a symphony orchestra concert before, once you get them in the door and they actually sit and listen, it's usually a different experience than, than what they perceived. It's a whole different experience. When you come in, you sit down, and that orchestra hits the first note, suddenly you realize this is not going to be what I, you know, a, a, a casual experience. This is going to be a wonderful moment. You don't have to know the music to get caught up in the beauty of it. 
and and you can and it and it elevates you. And that's why I think what classical music does. It goes beyond what we are and takes us to a new level ourselves. And and it will be a memorable experience. I think nearly every single time when we have new patrons or new conductors or new players that come, that we always exceed their expectations. Chicago has a lot of wonderful musicians and luckily the Elgin Symphony has attracted many of them. Many of our members have played in the top ensembles in Chicago. Many of our members play different genres. We're all teachers and we all come together and create this amazing product. When you come here on Friday, Saturday and Sunday and sit down in those seats and hear a great orchestra, it will truly just lift up your spirits for that week because music really, really will stir the soul. So I hope you'll join us.